Date naman tayo. La 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 Makita lang kitang may ngiti sa mata Alam na alam kung saan gusto magpunta Hinihingi mo lang naman sa akin Ang makasama kita na tayong dalawa Kita kids, kita kids with Magdo La 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 Hinihingi mo lang naman sa akin Ang makasama kita Saan kayo galing? Wow! Kita kids Kita kids with Magdo Oh 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 Kita kids with Magdo Good morning, Mom. Good morning, classmates. Thank you for being here today. We are the Group 1 and I am Claire Bicalimoso. I am here today to discuss to you about Mission Statement. McDonald's Mission Statement. McDonald's vision is to be the best quick service restaurant experience. Being the best means providing outstanding quality, service, cleanliness, and value so that we make every customer in every restaurant smile. So, mission statement nila providing outstanding quality, service, cleanliness, and value para lahat ng customer nila na kumakain doon or bumibili is papasok na nakangiti. Kaya dapat uuwi din silang nakangiti. Hindi lang para makabenta sila, kundi para ibigay yung satisfaction ng isang customer. That's the mission statement of McDonald's. Good day to each and everyone. So, let's talk about McDonald's mission statement. McDonald's mission is to be our customer's favorite place. So, basically, McDo establishes success of the company. They also highlights the significance of business as well as customers, which can help the franchise to be one of the best. They also do business talks, which is nagkikreate ng product innovations. Sila rin ay nagcommit ng isang strategic plan para mapalawak ang kanilang nasasakupan na nagresolve sa success. Sa rin sa daylan kung bakit ang McDo ang tinaguri ang one of the best ay ang kanilang services. Kasi they consider customer satisfaction na kung saan na-enhance nito ang success rate ng kanilang sales. So, to sum up, McDonald's is one of the successful corporation in our globe. External Situational Analysis McDonald's has survived all the external globe condition that may affect its operation. Consequently, the company continuously monitors external environment such as political risk. In over 100 countries, political situation have not stopped McDonald's from operating its outlets or franchises. Marketing structures and systems are composed of the following. First is monopoly, from the word mono, meaning one. There is only one producer and no substitute. Second is oligopoly, similar in many ways to monopoly. The primary difference is that there are a handful of producers. Third is monopolistic competition. In a monopolistic competition, there are numerous competitors in the market. And the last one is monopsony, as only one buyer for a particular good or service, giving the buyer the power in determining the price of the product. Effectiveness of McDonald's Corporation involves various approaches that meet business concerns in different fast food restaurants markets around the world. Marketing makes define the strategies and tactics that the company uses to reach target customers in terms of 
the product place promotion in the price or the core piece. The company's corporate standard for productivity are implemented in the management of each company owned in franchise location. Opportunities, global expansion and franchises. The right to run a business selling a product or service under the franchisor's successful business model and identify the franchisor, trademark, or brand. Second, provision of healthy organic menus. McDonald's continues to propose healthier options. The corporation is following suit. For example, recently changed to include red leaf lettuce and carrot curls, more healthy than the iceberg lettuce salad for the menus pass. Third, promotional through various channels, direct selling, double distribution, and reverse channel. Partnership with beverage companies, giving as always be important to beverage. A quick search of any the big brands will uncover pages dedicated to charity and philanthropy. Smaller beverage are always giving back, although at the lesser scale. Threats. First, advertisement. Second, unhealthy foods. Third, competitors. McDonald's encounters many threats. Our advertisement expert criticizes the company for targeting small children and adults. Alike with its multi-billion advertisement campaigns, likewise, the company is all is also under constant threats of low shoot because of serving addicted and healthy foods, mainly to children. It is impossible to McDonald's to serve healthy foods to fit various customer nutritional needs. In a number of cases, there are risks and issues of food contamination specifically with Ecolar. McDonald also faces competition from the other fast food restaurant and consumption also depends on economic stability. The main competitors of McDonald's include Burger Kings, Wendy's or Arby's, Subway, Pizza Hut, and Yum Brand. Strength, higher ranking the global with strong brand name. McDonald's is the 10th most valued brand name in the world. McDonald's is the most popular one and available in many places. Second, quality products and services. It has a wide range of products starting from burgers, smoothies, shakes, ice cream, and snacks items vary from place to place. And last, low-cost product. As a low-cost provider, McDonald's offers products that are relatively cheaper compared to its competitors. Weaknesses First, high staff turnover. High employee turnover in the restaurant leads to more money spent on training. And last, pizza test failure. The reason for the eliminating the pizza from the menu was the time to cook the pizza took 11 minutes and McDonald's wanted to keep its reputation for its fast services. Growth is all companies want to accomplish or fulfill their goals and it serves as a reminder to them to pursue their businesses. These things have many purpose in one company because it boosts their confidence to seek more ideas and strategies that can help them to get the success. Growth connects to the two words which is objective and aim. These two words serve as ele element to be more efficient like McDonald's. Do to achieve their growth, they rely on the objective and aim. The objective set an idea for a bit of time to put some improvement that helps the growth works and the aim is the long time process. Hi, I'm Jessica Amai. I will discuss the topics of marketing objectives. The main objective of the business. The McDonald's main objective is to provide its customer with food of a high standards, quick service, and value for money. They also provide good return to shareholders. How the evaluating objectives. McDonald's must set objectives in order to meet the aims of the business. A business objectives needs to be smart objectives. ISMART is an acronym which stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time specific. The specific of marketing objectives. The business can make objectives to achieve their targets at the end of the year. The specific is important in the business plan. 
to find out what kind of specific target McDonald's needs to make. For example, McDonald's might set an objective of serving at least 2% of single order customer within a minute of the order being placed. And the last one is measurable. The objective needs to be measured so that managers can see whether it has been achieved. For example, McDonald's could measure service times during a typical one-hour period and record the number of time single order customers were served with a minute of placing their order. Competitor Target The McDonald's competitor are the Wendy's Arby's, Burger King, Subway, and KFC. Some of these competitors do not focus on the entire segment as McDonald's does. The first competitor is the Wendy's Arby's, in which their target consumer is 24 to 49 years old. They focus on the product's quality instead of price. They focus on healthy foods like Garden Sensation and they focus on expansion strategy. The second one is the Burger King, which is their target consumer is 18 to 35 years old. The third one is the Subway, which is there is no age limit. They focus on healthy foods and they focus on international markets. The last one is the KFC, which is they focus on profits and sales growth and focus on customer service and focuses on serving foods in accordance to the place. So competitive advantage refers to the factors that allow a company to produce goods or services better or more cheaply than its rivals. So this includes the advertisement, introducing healthy options, low cost innovation and development in technology. So first is the advertisement. When we say advertisement, it means creating awareness or promoting a product or service in the market. So, it is a technique in sales promotion. So, the food and beverage company uses a combination of digital, print, TV ads to communicate their product offering which appeals to large audience. So, next in is introducing healthy options. So, McDonald's added some salad on their menu as to reflect to the changing taste of their consumers. They've been recognizing junk food and unhealthy eating habits that leads to obesity. That's why McDonald's dedicated a page to menu item with less than 400 calories. Next is the low cost. So recently, McDonald's introduced their low-cost coffee product that aims in with competing to Starbucks in the, in the coffee market. That's why the cheaper the product the more the customer is that's made that makes their company more stronger than their competitors so next is innovation so in innovation mcdonald's innovation is continuing to improve for customers through sustainability goals delivery option and self-service so lastly is the development in technology so we are now in 21st century where everything can do with technology that's why McDonald's come up with launching their Apply Through initiative in which the owners of Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant can begin job application using standard Alexa and OK Google voice command. So let us talk about the product. McDonald's may be well known for their burgers, but it offers an impressive range of other menu items as well. From salads for the more health conscious to ice cream for the dessert. McDonald's creates a wide range of tastes and preferences. By diversifying the menu, items that it offers, it meets larger market demand as it attracts move customers. This also decreases the risk of depending on just one sector of the market. And the last marketing mix is promotion. The promotional and advertising strategy in the McDonald's. McDonald's the one of the world leading fast food restaurants. It's primarily sells breakfast, burger, fries, chicken, sandwiches, dessert, salad, drinks, etc. It provides customers with a variety of options. For example, egg muffin, hotcakes, butter pounder, fried cheese, and, and some of the products offered by McDonald's. McDonald's advertisement are the most notable among its promotion tactics. The restaurant uses television, newspaper, magazine, the internet, and other media outlets to communicate with customers. And the company uses sales promotion techniques of sales promotion as well. For example, if customers buy 6 cups of tea and coffee, it collects 6 stickers and become eligible to have a cup of tea and coffee free. 
The restaurant also offers discount of coupons and freebies for certain products. The next marketing mix is place. This element of marketing mix enumerates the venues or locations where products are offered and where customers can access them. McDonald's has some of the most strategic places among fast food companies. The company seeks populated areas, places of high-end customers, easily accessible such as airports, busy streets, and retail stores. They also locate near its main competitors like Subway's and Burger King to ensure that McDonald's captures and supplies its products to all market segments. To be in pace with digital age, McDonald's have their website to provide an option to the customer to order food online. And also, there are other food ordering apps allowing customers an option to order food in different leading food ordering companies. Ang pagpili din ng lugar ng McDonald's ay nag-promote sa, sa brand image nito sa kanyang target market. Dapat din nilang obserbahan ang kanilang kalaban o competitor tulad ng Subway at Burger King sa pagpili ng kanilang lugar na pagtataya ng kanilang branch. McDonald's Place Strategy must appeal to, the, to its employee, stakeholders, and customers. Pricing strategy is one of the most significant aspects when it comes to marketing. This includes price breakdown, when any discount or service payment are available. Pricing strategy was developed in order to attract middle and lower class individual and the result can clearly be seen by the customer which McDonald's has at present. In psychological pricing, McDonald's use price that appear to be significantly more affordable. The company understands that a customer's perception of value is an important determinant of price charge. As the saying goes, everyone should have a budget. No matter how much or how little you make, a budget will help you your reach your financial goals, right? Possibly, with that idea in my mind, McDonald's decided to teach employees how to create one. But in doing so, the company may have inadvertently done something else, shown that it's nearly impossible to make a living of the minimum wage. Example. This is the example of the budget. According to advertising age, McDonald's spent $1.2 billion in the U.S. alone in the year 2008. It is among the top 30 largest advertisers in the U.S. In the U.S., McDonald's has national and local advertisement strategy. The company has a national budget for national advertisement and the local cooperatives organize local advertisement. The industry total is $5.6 billion, about 40% of McDonald's total advertising budget focuses on children in 2007. Here's the control for marketing plan for McDonald's Corporation. We know that McDonald's is the world's largest chain of hamburger fast food restaurants, so it must have its control. Marketing control is the process of monitoring the proposed plans as they proceed and adjusting where necessary if an objective states where you want to be and the plan sets out a roadmap to your destination. Then control tells you if you are on the right route or if you are arrived at your destination. There is no planning without control. Control involves measurement, evaluation, and monitoring. Resources are scarce and costly so it is important to control marketing plans. Control involves safety standards. The marketing manager will then compare actual progress against the standards. All businesses must have its control systems that guide their strategic plans in order to adapt to the dynamic market situations. That's why the McDonald's Corporation ensure corrective measure after evaluating its marketing plan. Control is an important part in management because the purpose is to make the management and control strategies to be executed so that the organization's objectives are achieved. For the organization and implementation, they have identified three stages that is crucial for implementing a plan. The first one is the owning the plan, or the McDonald's company should put interest in the plan that they have. They should embrace it and confidently willing to do it. 
Another one is supporting the plan or all employees should contribute to make the plan impossible. For example, the human resource should hire and train individuals to be a catalyst for the company. And another example is the senior level management should give compensation and rewards to driven the employee's productivity. And the last one is the adopting the plan or they should internalize, practice, and exercise the plan that they have from creating a product to promoting it and for marketing strategy.